Did you know that the top 1% of America earns more than $400,000 per year? The income it takes to be in the top 1% here in the U.S. is at around $488,000. We're going to dive into some of the most common mistakes that ultra-wealthy individuals do not make. Some you may be surprised, so stick around. Hey, my future millionaires, welcome back to Dan Daily. If you haven't already, subscribe for more videos. All right, let's dive right in. According to ZipRecruiter, the majority of cardiologists here in the U.S. have a salary between $250,000 to $382,000, maxing out at $399 for the top percent of earners. That's still not in the 1%, and those are the guys at the top of the healthcare food chain. What exactly are the ultra-wealthy doing? What exactly are some things that they're doing that just makes them stay in that 1% and keep and exponentially grow their wealth so much? Well, here are the six different mistakes that a lot of people make, but they do not. Number one, they understand the importance of savings, the basics of investing, and taking calculated risks. Those are very crucial. Number two, only concentrating portfolios such as only investing in the U.S. or in the EU and overlooking all potential opportunities everywhere else, such as other emerging markets. The ultra-wealthy keep their options open. Number three, they do not try to keep up with their neighbors or their friends or compare themselves to others because they focus on themselves and achieving their objectives and goals and by doing so are able to have laser precision focus. Number five, periodically rebalancing their portfolios is essential when trying to achieve the right mix of stocks and bonds and investments over time. They keep adjusting it as they need to. Number six, they often find opportunities in private markets such as business partnerships or becoming silent partners, for example, which is mainly overlooked by investors that focus only on public markets. And we're all guilty of this at certain points of time. And I'm guilty of some of these mistakes as well. So it's not, a, it's not a perfect case scenario, but the main goal is to keep trying to get better. Get 1% better every day. And you'll be on your way. So which of these principles can you start applying today? Comment below and let me know. Hope you guys found some value in this video, and if you did, please hit the like button. It would mean a lot to me, and please hit the subscribe button for more videos. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time on Dan Daily.